In this video, I'm taking a look at the Sinclair C5, a vehicle that promised to revolutionize personal transport, but ended up being an ultimate disaster. We like disasters on Hubnut. So let's see what went wrong and what they're like to actually ride or drive or whatever it is you actually do with them. So here we go, a pair of Sinclair C5s. These were developed in the early 1980s by um, Sir Clive Sinclair, who had made his fortune selling um, computers, but uh, he reckoned this was the future. And uh, if we could get more people out of their cars and into vehicles like this, the world would be a better place. Uh, to, to a certain extent, I understand where he was coming in from. I think he's right. But uh, unfortunately, the reality is these are quite terrifying to drive in traffic. So what we've got here is a polypropylene body uh, atop a steel backbone chassis. I've never seen under one of these before, so let's go and um, take a look. And there is the chassis. The chassis was developed by Lotus Cars. Um, and there you go, you can see the backbone and the drive chain running along. I mean, the theory is quite simple. It's a recumbent bicycle, effectively, but it has an electric motor. So it's, it's a, an assist vehicle. It's got a turbo, clearly. Uh, so back here, we've got an electric motor, which also drives uh, the rear wheel. So uh, the, the advice is very much to um, get started using the pedals and then you can press this switch, I think it is, and the electric motor will join in. And similarly, if you want to go quicker, you can um, pedal to help the motor along. Top speed, 15 miles an hour, limited by um, the technology and also um, the legal requirements at the time. A, a, a very bold take on what could be a different way of traveling. Very, very 1980s with this wonderful styling. At one stage, Ogle was part of the um, design team, but they um, lost faith, made it a bit too complicated, and uh, they, they pulled in uh, a university graduate instead to take over. They were built by Hoover of vacuum cleaner fame at a factory in Merthyr Tydfil in Wales. Uh, I drove past Mer Merthyr Tydfil th this morning, in fact, uh, but uh, they made 14,000 of them, and that was a problem because they only sold 8,000. Uh, 5,000 fairly quickly, and then a, a further 3,000, and uh, eventually relationships soured. They weren't selling enough of them, and uh, it, it became one of the great British disasters. We do like a disaster. So the handlebars are underneath your legs. So as you sit aboard, I'm going to climb in now for demonstration purposes. Oh. You climb in, put your feet on the pedals, and you use the handlebars underneath um, your legs so it's already a little peculiar but the, the main issue from a safety point of view is if you're riding in traffic you're so much lower than you are on a normal conventional bicycle where you get a good view of what's going on and more importantly people can see you at this height a truck wheel is going to be about here and you could actually go underneath the chassis of them so uh, less than ideal but uh, they are intriguing things. I have ridden one before. It's been a long time, but uh, we're going to go and take these for a ride and see how they fare. Uh, but there we go. Look, we've got a serial number manufactured by Hoover on behalf of Sinclair Vehicles. A spin off made in the UK. So an intriguing thing. Uh, the owner, current owner, likes to travel long distance. So he's fitted this big, chunky leisure battery that takes the range up to he reckons about 30 miles and uh originally they were more like oh, i don't know 10 15 miles maybe 20 on a good day if it wasn't too hilly hills so often um, the problem with electric vehicles because uh, you have to use so much energy to go up them but uh, we're going to head out and uh, see what they're actually like what the handling is like got these skinny tires uh, i'll be driving this one i think which has got some replacement rubber. Uh, oh no, that, that looks terribly cracked. I won't be driving that one. I'll be driving this one. It's got the replacement rubber on it. Look, it's got some Schwalbe Big Apple tires. Performance tires. So I'll just show you the boot. And there is a key to stop people nicking your things. But there is actually a little boot, a useful uh, amount there. And there's your tire pressure instructions. We've got a little red light at the back. 
there is no brake light and a headlight at the front. You could specify indicators and wing mirrors and other such things, but these are basic C5s. But uh, I think we probably should take them out. Here we go then. Bit of pedaling to start with and we're off in the uh, Sinclair C5 in Western Supermare. Uh, been wary of the brakes. The brakes are not superb. They're normal brake blocks from a bicycle, but uh, on the plastic wheels. But right, here we go. Let's open her up. So you pedal start, and then you can really sort of let rip up to 15 miles an hour. And uh, I, I'm very grateful to my cameraman here who is also on a Sinclair C5. We've just been riding around with a pair of them. The amount of attention these things get is insane. You think how long it is since these things were in production. 1985 is when it all came grinding to a halt and these things get as much attention as they ever did. You know, it's got reasonable handling because you sit so low. I'm not necessarily going to try and check it around because it is a free wheeled vehicle. But yeah, it's astonishing how much attention you get. Turning circle is, it must be said, that is full lock. Uh, it's not brilliant, but unlike most vehicles, you can just pick up the front of it and then it'll spin on the spot. Be absolutely perfect. Right, let's head back along the prom then. So we, we settle in, we make sure there's no one around, we pedal to get ourselves moving, and then I press with my left thumb the power button and away we go we're quite soon up to a pretty decent speed it feels very fast in these conditions anyway it's a bit weird steering under your own legs but once we're up to speed like this i can um, put my feet off the pedals completely got a little horn it's, it's not the nicest horn i've ever heard in my life Maybe we need a little bell like I say, the brakes do work after a fashion, but they're brake blocks on plastic. They're not the best. It's in the fun fair here at Weston. It's uh, a fun way to travel. I know I'm moving under electric power. I can rest my legs a bit more. But there's the steering. It's all done down here. It's very direct. No suspension other than the tyres. So um, not the most comfortable. We'll ease off here and then we'll power around there we go what amazing things the amount of cars that have been bibbing their horns people waving just going what on earth are those things so it proves that you know sir clive sinclair was onto something with these items uh he he knew they could be a success but he was hampered by uh, many safety concerns you know recumbent bicycles weren't at all common in the 1980s and nor were cycle lanes. We, we've managed to ride these here from the owner's house using cycle lanes that just didn't exist back in the 1980s. It's a very different way of traveling, but a lot of fun. And on the um, more modern tires, uh, this actually feels almost comfortable. It's not the best over bumps, I will admit, but uh, we're threading our way through the pedestrians. So I can pedal if I want to and get a bit of exercise. It's a lot more fun than cycling. I mean, now we have electric assist cycles. This is what this is effectively. An electric assist cycle, sort of decades before its time. But hampered by the batteries, these are actually really heavy once you've got the batteries on. They usually run twin batteries, but you can use a modern leisure battery, still lead acid, and it costs about 60 quid and get you about 30 miles. Uh, whereas if you went lithium iron, you'd be much lighter, but you'd probably have to pay about 400 quid for an equivalent battery. So uh, this is definitely the way to proceed, I think. I feel my mobile phone falling out of my pocket. Another issue is there's, there's no adjustability. So if you've got long legs, as I have, this is all a bit compact for my liking. I would prefer to have a bit more space. But yeah, this is lovely. I'm getting a bit of exercise every now and then but mostly having a really nice time. So there we go, a, a very British failure at a very British uh, beach resort. But the thing is, 
The failures of yesteryear can still be fantastic today. The Austin 3 litre bigger case in point and uh, other things, the Citroen SM, that wasn't commercially successful either. And it's still seen as magnificent today. This, these are exactly the same. The Sinclair C5, history has been very cruel to it, but they're still a lot of fun, still very relevant today. Perhaps more so now we have the cycleways where you can actually use them. So I hope you found that interesting. Thank you for watching. I shall see you in a future video. Farewell.